To my latch homie, welcome back to yet another video. Welcome to Gossip Cafe. My name is Kay. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. We are talking about none other than Kanye Mbawo's ex-boyfriend or Kanye Mbawo's boyfriend. I don't know which one is which. I don't know if I can call him ex-boyfriend or boyfriend. I really don't know at this point of time. But he came out and he shared a very, very sad story about his life and what was going on a year or over a year ago. So we need to talk about this one without wasting any more time. Let's get into it. So Kuzai is um, a Zimbabwean-born billionaire or millionaire, if I may say so, between the two millionaire or billionaire or tycoon who was dating Kanye Mbao. He is also a socialite because he is now known mostly on social media. So he came out detailing on how he actually survived a dark place over a year ago. He even goes as far as saying that he just wanted to die. So we all know that these two were dating and um, there was a time whereby Kanye left him in Dubai. It looks like Kuzai loved Kanye so much that I feel like it was at a point of like it's at the point of um, obsession. And also on top of that, I feel like Kanye saw through him that he is actually into Kanye so much so that Kanye was able to dominate him and Kanye was able to control him at some point. Because if you go in, I don't know how to do this one because it is a lot and I don't want to read all this stuff, but maybe I will try to share it on my community tabs if you haven't seen it. <clears throat> so um, it says at the beginning, I was suicidal. So, um, so that means whatever that was going on there, it drove him to a point of trying to analyze himself. So he goes on, um, whatever that I'm saying right now, it is summarized. I'm just going to summarize what is happening here. He says that he was cut off from the world. So that means the only thing that was connecting him to the world would be his work or his meetings and when he's signing deals and stuff like that. Other than that, he was not able to see his friends. He cut he, he cut off his friends. He cut off anyone he, he knew. He cut off everything that was outside. No social life, nothing. The only person that he was socializing with or the only person that he could see was the girlfriend, which is Okanyimbao. And he says that he details that he goes on actually and say that um, when he would go out, uh, for example, it would um, it would temper with the peace within his relationship. That's when actually I found it to be somewhere somehow it has to do with Kanyimbao controlling him because um, there were there is a, a place whereby he says that he doesn't blame anyone. He blame himself himself obviously. And there's a line that touched me the most that says, I started feeling unloved, unworthy, and not cared for every time, every, for a very long time. For, <clears throat> from my place, I had one of the best views in Dubai. I could see the entire city to, to the India, to the Indian Ocean, obviously. A direct view of the entire city to India Ocean, Ocean, whatever that is. A direct view of Beach Khalifa, an increasingly skyline, views that many would die for. But I was lonely and super bored. I started feeling into, I started falling into depression. Imagine a thirty-year-old guy that makes over three point five million every sixty days, signing up for online therapy and getting into group session. This is what happens with the. <coughs> With with mostly rich people, or with um, with males that they think therapy is for a certain type of people, but therapy is for everybody. But anyway, this is not about that. Um, so as you as uh, when you were listening, as as I said here, 
he felt like he was unloved and bored and 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 all those things so that means something was happening within that relationship that's what i'm thinking on my side something was happening in that relationship that stripped away his confidence self-esteem and all we all know when that is happening it's because there is someone who's actually dominating you who's actually bullying you emotionally who's actually abusing you emotionally and all of those things and i could think that this is what was happening and um also kanimbao came out saying that he was going through the most when he was recording um the <clears throat> the reality show that crap that we just watched right now and um he was going through the most and all of those things but he but she did not come out and say this is what the story is and this is what was going on or we we broke up with kuzai and stuff like that and i feel like this guy is really really supportive of kanyimbao but i kind of have a feeling that he's got he kind of has got um, a very obsessive or obsessed traits or obsessed there's something that tells me that he is kind of very obsessed with kanyimbao more than loving him um obviously i told you that he said i'm not blaming anyone i take full responsibility and stuff like that but when you read through it and everything here and you read it through with an open mind you can tell that the main or the main focus is someone that i was living with in my house was the one who led me to be suicidal or suicidal or led me to actually try to analyze myself or see no worth in myself and he goes on and say that he wanted to actually share his wealth with his family and with ukanyimbao that as well is just like if you feel like this person is actually doing stuff to you or you feel like you are you feel unloved you feel bored you feel lonely even though you've got this person next to you and stuff like that and you spend time with them you never go anywhere and if you go somewhere um there will be no peace in your relationship because this person obviously will complain about all that stuff why would you want to give them money like why would you want to die and share money with them if you feel like that's the case that's that's what is going on here to me i feel like you need to read this you you need to read through all this yourself and you can actually comment down below if you did and you can actually tell me what do you think about this because it looks like it is very deep it is a very deep conversation it is a very deep tell it all um and um, it's a lot and so that means i cannot really read it for that much he says this went on for one 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 year and seven months and at this point of time he's trying to break through or break out from feeling lonely and feeling all that stuff and i think there was a time or on there's a line whereby he says that he would only go out or something like that when kanyimbao obviously is not around because he didn't want to um to 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 cause all the drama um to go out when kanyi is at home and he would also go out with kanyimbao but he was never going out with friends or anyone else Anyway, thank you so much for watching till this far. Please do me a favor, subscribe, and um, please do like this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you on my next upload. Peace out.